friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you, breakfast, lunch, and a sweet treat. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. I will link my recipe website at the top of the description box, that's where you'll find all of today's recipes, as well as nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. That is how I lost 140 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or if you just want to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm so excited for these. I'm making cottage cheese egg muffins. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need eggs, any vegetables of your choice. I'm actually just going to use chives and kale. It does call for kale in the egg bites. That's going to give it some structure, the actual egg muffins. And then you can use any protein source, bacon, Canadian bacon, lunch meat. I'm going to do these Gilbert's Caprese chicken sausages. Probably not all four. We'll kind of see, we'll see where the recipe takes us, but that's going to be one of my protein sources. You'll also need cottage cheese and then reduced fat cheese of your choice. So to get started on the cottage cheese egg muffins, we're going to crack six large eggs in a bowl. And then we're adding in three quarters of a cup of low fat cottage cheese and then half of a cup of low fat shredded cheese. You can also blend this mixture up if you would like. I'm not going to blend it up. And then I did two of the Gilbert's chicken sausages sliced, my chives, and then one cup of diced kale. And go ahead and mix all of that together until fully combined. I sprayed my muffin pan with nonstick cooking spray and we're shooting for 10 to 12 muffins. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So I ended up with nine muffins. It really doesn't matter how many you get. I will give you the points on the nine that I got out of the recipe. If you make more, the points obviously in calories and things will be less. So I'm going to throw this into a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the eggs are set. So I just pulled the egg muffins out of the oven. These smell so incredibly good. I'm going to let them cool just a little bit. I'll pop them out, put them in a storage container. For my lunch this week, I've been craving salad and this sounds incredible. This is pear salad with walnuts, avocado, and chicken. So lots of protein, healthy fat. We're making homemade, nice clean ingredient salad dressing. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need salt and pepper, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil, spring mix for your salad, minced garlic, Dijon mustard, walnuts, no sugar added maple syrup, Italian seasoning, low sugar cranberry. I have reduced fat feta. You can also do goat cheese, turkey bacon, an avocado, a couple of pears, and some chicken breast or chicken tenderloin. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook my chicken tenderloins. I just season them with some salt and pepper. I have my bacon defrosting in the microwave and then I'll cook up two slices. So I cooked up and diced up my chicken, cooked up and diced up my two slices of turkey bacon, one pear, I left the other pear whole, I'll just slice that up as I need it throughout the week, and then I did about a quarter of the large avocado. I'm going to put together a salad with you guys on camera, and I'll have it for lunch today, and then you'll know exactly what the salads are going to look like this week. So I'm quickly going to make up the salad dressing and then I'm going to make it in a mason jar so I can pop a lid on it and throw it in the fridge for the week. So the first thing I'm going to add is a quarter cup of olive oil and a half of a cup of balsamic vinegar, just a pinch of salt and a pinch of Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon of minced garlic and about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and then a tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. I'm going to pop a lid on. This also makes it easy in a mason jar because you can just shake it up. And there is our dressing for our salad. So to put together your salad, all of the components make six make four to six salads, depending on the size of the salad. I'm probably going to do six salads. There's a lot to these, so it's going to be nice and filling. So we're going to put our baby spring mix in our salad bowl. 
And then we're going to add one sixth of our diced up chicken, some of our sliced pear, half of a tablespoon of some chopped walnuts, and then half of a tablespoon of reduced sugar craisins, one sixth of our sliced turkey bacon, a tablespoon of reduced fat feta, and then one sixth of an entire avocado. Sprinkle a pepper on top and our salad is ready. So here is what our salad looks like. Doesn't this look amazing? Packed with protein, healthy fat. We've got a crunch in the walnuts and the pear. We've got the sweetness of the craisins, the saltiness of the bacon and the feta cheese. Are you waiting for scraps? Yeah, she's waiting. We'll do one sixth of our dressing right on top. And then each day I'll just put together a fresh salad. I'll have everything ready to go in the fridge and that's going to be my lunch for the week. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. So for a dessert, a snack this week, I'm making protein banana bread. You'll never know there's protein in here, but you're going to really, but they will help you reach your protein goal. So let me show you what you'll need. So you'll need milk of your choice. I'm using Fairlife again for the added protein, white vinegar, brown sugar substitute of your choice, no sugar or sugar-free chocolate chips. For protein powder, of course, I'm using my Clean Simple Eats Simply Vanilla. I love Clean Simple Eats protein. It's my all-time favorite. It makes amazing protein shakes, protein pudding, and it bakes beautifully. So Clean Simple Eats is definitely my go-to. I do have a discount code for them. I will link it down below. You'll also need vanilla extract, self-rising flour, and two really, really ripe medium bananas. So to get started on our banana bread, I mashed up my two medium ripe bananas. We're going to add those to a bowl. One cup of milk, one tablespoon of vinegar, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then go ahead and mix that all together. Then for our dry ingredients, I'm adding two and a half cups of self-rising flour. One scoop of my Clean Simple Eats vanilla protein and half of a cup of brown sugar substitute. And then go ahead and thoroughly mix that and then we'll fold in half of a cup of chocolate chips. Add in your chocolate chips and then fold them in. And then add your mixture to a bread pan sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. And then we're putting our banana bread in the oven at 350 for 45 to 50 minutes. Just make sure it's baked through. The protein banana bread is out of the oven. This smells so good. It smells like a bakery in here. This looks amazing. I'm so excited for this. I'm going to let it cool completely. I'll slice it up. It'll be pre-portioned out ready to go for the week. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to eat them all week. They are of course on my recipe website. I will put that at the very top of the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our free Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Happy, happy Monday friends. Here's to a successful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.